in the previous lecture we have seen how to write test cases of our function based views in this lecture we'll see how to write test cases of user model okay so we have renamed it file and uh, let's just run the server again and tests okay no module name models okay so we need to just put book over here save it and uh, just again run this okay fine uh, we pass this and uh, book models okay just again check it reverse got an unexpected keyword argument kw args it's args not a g r s a r g s args okay fine just again try it test it book is not a registered namespace actually we need to figure it out uh, we have declared the book in the main projects urs.py or not okay we haven't specified the namespace over here so just include namespace is equal to book okay fine and again try it we ran three tests okay fine and if we put 404 over here and then it should give us an error of 404 not equal to 200 it is not giving us an error so let's just check it why we save this and uh, okay so we need to put not assert true but assert equal okay fine so let's just try it again and uh, test okay so 200 is not equal to 145 if we put 404 over here then just run it again it will give some same error okay 200 fine again test great we ran the test cases successfully fine so this is how you can check your detail view uh, instead of book we can give the detail view okay fine great so after that we can uh, check our update view just like this and just paste this and uh, just instead of detail <coughs> we need update view okay fine so in the update view create book and uh, we need to just copy the update book over here paste this keyword arc same it is plus we need uh, let's just try it and not detail we need edit URL okay so edit URL and just paste this save this run the test again okay fine it gives us a successful fine let's just put the 404 just try again and it gives us an error so 200 is not equal to 404 so 200 okay fine uh, we haven't do anything we haven't we don't do anything new but uh, just update the view which is the reverse call keyword arguments and that's it fine and just like this uh, we can also test our list view so for that just uh, copy this and paste it over here from the below and list view and in the list view probably we don't need any object creation we need just reverse call because we are not creating anything in the we don't need any as in the list view we don't need any keyword arguments as we haven't passed any regex in that so for that book and just pass it over here okay list url and just the status code okay fine let's just check it just test and uh, yep five tests test cases run successfully if we put any 
random in port random code so it will give us an error, error. give us an error okay fine so 200 set the score that means everything is fine okay great so just like this we can also check our detail view just like this and just update this book detail object id okay fine and change the url from edit to detail delete sorry not detail but delete delete url and wait paste it over here just instead of book underscore detail we need delete book okay just paste this and just run the server again uh, we need to update this delete view so there are six test cases okay run six tests completely fine okay great so this is how you can test your all the views and uh, just one more thing to uh, to just inform that uh, Django means how Django understands that this is the testing code and this is not the testing code by providing the test underscore initially in the definition function in the function so when we declare test underscore after the def so Django understands that this is the testing this is the testing code and we need to test this code for the testing purpose okay so test underscore is used to test the file or any view or any model etc etc so uh, whenever you want to test your code something like that you can write the function as test underscore and after that function name whatever you want okay so this is basically how we can test our whole views list view delete view update view delete view detail view so in general uh, we or any standard things uh, put the whole code put the whole test cases in one file so uh, we have separated by test models and test view because we can have the better understanding of the testing views and testing models etc so if we want we can put this whole stuff in the one test.py file and we can test all the test cases of our views models etc so this is basically a testing of views if you have any doubt let us know otherwise keep going we have seen how to write test cases of user model in next lecture we'll see authentication of users how to test the user authentication